I am back here with head coach Tom Poitras, where tonight his Hawks will take on the UMass Minutemen right here at Elmer Zook Field at 7 o'clock. Now, coach, since the last time we've met, the team has gone 3-1, and one, with that one loss being a very, very tough one-goal loss at Villanova. Um, you started the season out with two intense games at WVU and Penn State. Did that really prepare you for those last four games? Well, it definitely gave us a sense of confidence that we knew we could play with anybody we were going to compete against. So, you know, when we went to play Villanova, the guys felt pretty comfortable with the fact that they were playing another undefeated team, a good team. But they knew they could, you know, deal with that. They could handle the pressure of it. And we did a really good job for 72 minutes. And, and then, unfortunately, we had a breakdown or two, and we gave up a goal. And then we didn't recover and react very well to it. And, and we gave up another goal two minutes later. And then after that, we were pretty good again. Um, unfortunately, we had just, you know, conceded the lead and, and the, put the pressure on our ourselves now this is just your second home game first home game you guys played in front of a record-breaking crowd of 1,504 fans what was it like coaching in that kind of environment and how did that impact the result of the game well it was a great atmosphere we had a ton of students out there they did a great job and you know I think the impact they made was in the overtime you know when we came back out and the announcer said here are your Hartford Hawks and there was a lot of cheer and it was loud and I think the guys got some energy out of that and we scored a couple minutes into the overtime so they definitely played a huge factor in the game and uh, we're hoping for another huge student section tonight and another good rowdy crowd for the game. You received huge play from Giovanni Sims, a freshman who was just named the America East Rookie of the Week. How important is it to have such young talent on the team and what does he bring to the table? Well, he's a, he's a very talented kid. He's going to be one of the best players in the region for sure this year. And, and we expect in the next year or two, he'll be one of the best players in the country. Um, he's scoring goals. He's dangerous. He's very good on the ball, but he plays really smart soccer. He plays with his head up and he has a lot of good vision. He makes good passes and, and he gets in the right spots at the right time. Now UMass is on the table for tonight. Hartford has won the last three matchups, including a one nothing game last year. Um, and you guys haven't conceded a goal to the Minutemen in the past three games. What can we expect for tonight? Well, I think it's going to be a, a really tight game again. You know, those games have all been really close and tight. It'll be another tight affair, and, and we've got to do a good job. You know, they're a physical team. They're a big team. We've got to do a good job managing the, the penalty box and doing a good job with our restarts defensively. And if we do that and we can move the ball quick enough, I think we're feeling pretty confident about the game. You know, we need some continu continued big performances from some of the guys. And, you know, Damian Lowe and S Anthony Santaga have been really good leaders for us right now. And James has been great in the midfield and Kevin's coming back after sitting out a game. So those guys, we really need to continue to step up. And if they do, we'll be in good shape. Now, we spoke yesterday and you kind of gave me an interesting little connection between one of our freshmen and a player on the Minutemen. Can you kind of explain that connection? Yeah, it's a funny a funny little tie to, to the game tonight. As a side, side note is A.J. Burnham's brother Chandler is his twin brother. Um, and he's a freshman also this year at, at UMass. So it's the first time they've ever played each other in an official game. You know, they've battled each other growing up in the backyard and all those fun things. But this will be the first time they get to do it in a, in a real game. So I know there's been a lot of trash talking going back and forth between the two of them. So I know uh, Chandler, was he realized we had 1,500 people, and he told AJ that's just more people for him to celebrate in front of. So it is a little side note for the game. All right, a little sibling rivalry coming up tonight. Stay tuned. Next up, we have Hartford Hawks versus the UMass Minutemen on All Access.